for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thanks to all of you for being here today. Um, Mr. Medin, um, I would like to talk about transparency and the impact of the administration's step to allow technology companies to be able to provide greater disclosure about the number of government requests they receive. Um, just yesterday, many companies took advantage of the agreement reached with the DOJ and have provided new information to the public, which I think is a welcome development. Um, do you think legislation that allows companies to provide more details to the public would be helpful? In particular, can you talk about the distinction between what the agreement last week allows and what you believe should happen? I'm also a co-sponsor of the USA Freedom Act, and um, we also outline um, recommendations there, and I'd love your opinion on that. Um, our, our board's report recommends a number of uh, areas where transparency could be greater so that there could be more public confidence in our intelligence programs. Um, and so tra transparency uh, with regard to government's request to companies is certainly a part of that. What our board recommended is that companies be given a, an opportunity, in some cases a greater opportunity, to disclose government requests consistent with national security. Um, and so we think it's, uh, we, we haven't had a chance to evaluate the, the uh, arrangement that was struck with the Justice Department, but certainly it's a move in the right direction to allow the companies um, to make it clear what's collected and also to disabuse people, particularly overseas, that there's less collection going on than they think, which I think will actually help American business uh, down the road. So we are very supportive in principle of doing this, but we haven't uh, examined the specifics of it. In terms of whether there's a need for legislation, I think we could evaluate how, how well the government struck its balance. But uh, there are important national security concerns in revealing information, and it's important to do it in the right way. Okay. We'd be interested in your opinion on that after you've had a chance to look at it in more, um, in more detail. Um, Mr. Cole, um, you stated last week the administration had determined that the public interest in disclosing this information now outweighs the national security concerns that required its classification. And you know, my position is that even greater disclosures warranted in order to restore the credibility and trust of the American public and our government. But I want to focus on one particular element of the transparency agreement announced last week. In the letter you shared with companies, general counsels last week, outlining the terms of the agreement, you state that the government's able to designate a service or to designate a new capability order and thereby delay that that service, uh, delay reporting on that service um, for, for two years. And I wondered what the criteria was that you'd be using in making the decision of what a new capability um, would encompass. Well, I think the criteria is set out in the letter. It's uh, a new platform or a service or a capability that we haven't had before that would indeed be something new and that uh, we would be, I think, going to the court and having it incorporated in the order. And so it would be something where we have gained a new capability to intercept communications that we haven't had before. So that if, if people are relying on our inability to be able to intercept that information, terrorists and people like that, that they won't all of a sudden see a spike if we, a certain, if we come to adopt that view or that capability and know, oh, I better get off this platform. But how, given that that's a rather vague definition of what a new capability is, because there could be a new version of, of what you're doing right now, how do we know that that's not going to be used in such a broad way that basically ends up preventing disclosure of a lot of information that otherwise is covered in, in the agreement? I believe there's a, an avenue for the companies to go to the court and challenge that and certainly come to the Justice Department and challenge that and say it, in fact, is not a new capability. And uh, we can try and work that through, and the court could find that it's not. And why do you believe that there has to be such a, a caveat in the agreement at all? From a national security standpoint, so that people who are comfortable uh, communicating over a certain type of capability uh, don't all of a sudden realize that we can now intercept that capability. But do you have a specific example in mind from what you Nothing that I would before? want to talk about in an open <laughs> hearing. Um, thank you, and I'll yield back, Mr. Chair. Chair, thanks the gentleman, and recognize the gentleman.